Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dies, and today we're going to make a side fan fold. Start by smoothing out your shirt. You can turn it inside out if you'd like. I didn't for this one. Um, it doesn't really matter. And then take a piece of kite string and a washable marker and mark out your pattern. Next, you want to pleat along this line, making that line as straight as possible. And you'll notice I turn the shirt in front of me as I'm working. It just sort of helps that line become straight. And I'd say these pleats are probably a good inch tall. Um, and with ice dies, they're forgiving, so you can have a little bit of a taller pleat. Once you have your shirt all pleated up, it's time to secure it. And for this one, I'm going to use rubber bands, but you could also use kite string. It really is just a matter of preference. And I got these rubber bands off of Amazon, and I have a link for them and everything else that I use down below in the description box. So go ahead and check that out. So you want your project to be nice and tight, but your rubber bands don't need to be so tight that it's completely cinching down the folds. And then you just want to continue to work on your pleats all the way down, securing it with rubber bands or kite string, whichever you chose. This is going to be an ice die, so you need to find a container or a rack to put it in. I'm going to put it in this over the sink strainer, and I love these things for ice dies. Um, and I also got these off of Amazon, and there is a link for them down below in the description box. If you're going to use a strainer, you need to put it over top of something, that way it can catch all the melting ice. Some of you may have noticed that I've already done clear yellow, and I accidentally did clear yellow twice, but this shirt is just too pretty not to share. So keep in mind, you can use any colors that you want. It's really more about the pattern than the colors, but anyways, um, this is going to go into the playlist of Dharma's swatches. And for those of you that don't know what I'm doing, I've created a playlist and I'm going to do every single color that is available in Dharma, so that way we have a catalog of what they look like in ice, and then at the end there's a little uh, swatch of liquid dye as well. So I, I find this really helpful. I'm learning a lot.
Grab a mask and give your project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. You want to batch it for 24 hours after the ice melts. It's been 24 hours since the ice is melted and now it's time for the rinse out. You want to start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might be reacting within the fibers and then gradually increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a plain hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Kirilon, which is a textile detergent that I get from Dharma, and it is listed down below in the description box. And then I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft, which I also get from Dharma, and that brings softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. Then I put it in the dryer, and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our clear yellow side fan fold ice dye and I think it turned out great. That's why I wanted to share it with you guys because it's just so pretty. You know, um, for just being a single color there sure are a lot of tones and I really do like that. And I'm learning so much about what each of the Dharma dyes is capable of. So, you know, we're getting close to getting into the oranges. And I'm really excited about that because, you know, I'm kind of getting bored with the yellow too. So, but stay with me, okay? And then right here is a uh, liquid swatch. So now we know what liquid looks like and ice dye looks like. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie dyeing.